James Comey was in the middle of addressing FBI employees in Los Angeles when he learned from TVs playing in the background he had been fired, and no one from the White House or Department of Justice called him to tell him the news. Former FBI Director James Comey's book, A Higher Loyalty, will be released Tuesday, but portions of the book have already stolen the headlines in the political world as excerpts leaked. CBS News accidentally published an obituary Sunday prematurely celebrating the life of former First Lady Barbara Bush after a spokesman revealed she was in failing health, according to multiple reports. Former FBI Director James Comey criticized President Trump in the Oval Office for comparing American democracy with Russian President Vladimir Putin's stranglehold of power, according to his forthcoming memoir. Former FBI Director James Comey doesn't believe anyone in the government brought politics into the Hillary Clinton email investigation, aside from then-President Obama and Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who he believes jeopardized the Department of Justice. Former First Lady Barbara Bush, 92, decided Sunday to focus on comfort care in the face of her failing health rather than additional medical treatment. Former FBI Director James Comey said Sunday he hoped his highly anticipated memoir served as an instructive dissection of ethical leadership as he faces a barrage of criticism from President Trump and Republican spokespeople regarding his own tenure as head of the country's premier law enforcement agency. Famed lawyer Alan Dershowitz on Sunday wouldn't say whether he had been asked to join President Trump's legal team, adding as a Democrat his only concern was whether Trump's civil liberties and due process rights were being infringed by special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia probe. Afghan Special Security Forces, accompanied by U.S. Special Operations Troops, killed 22 Islamic State Khorasan fighters in Kabul, Afghanistan on April 11, according to the Headquarters for U.S. Afghanistan Forces. Rep. Bob Goodlatte, RVA, said Sunday former FBI Director James Comey is out for revenge because he feels the American people should have a higher view of him than they currently do. House Speaker Paul Ryan, R. Weiss, said he accomplished what he came to do in Congress, despite many criticisms in recent days that his longest-lasting legacy will be President Trump's presidency. House Speaker Paul Ryan, R. Weiss, said he wasn't going to speak about former FBI Director James Comey's integrity because he didn't want to participate in a campaign to sell his upcoming book. Adam Schiff believes former FBI Director James Comey made the same mistakes as President Obama did in responding to Russian meddling in the 2016 election, he assumed Hillary Clinton would win. Gowdy, RSC, suggested Sunday Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Scott Pruitt should consider becoming a monk if he is so concerned about flack he faces as head of the EPA. Goal of the American airstrike in Syria was to take out Bashar Assad's chemical weapons program, not to start a war or kill people, said United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley Sunday. Rep. Trey Gowdy, RSC, warned President Trump Sunday it would be unwise for him to fire Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein over Rosenstein's involvement in the FBI raid of Trump's personal lawyer Michael Cohen.